Hi guys, this is Cafe Latte, and this is just a short tutorial on cleaning up your scanned line art. Um, this works for scanned line art or stuff that you've just taken a picture of. I drew this on a piece of sketch paper, and I actually just took a picture of it. I would suggest scanning it because it looks a lot better. Um, but anyway, so this is kind of a beginner tutorial with Photoshop CS5. The first thing you need to do, I hope you're familiar with some of Photoshop, otherwise this might be confusing, but I'm going to go as slow as I can. Uh, you go to your layers and see this background layer is your image. Double click it and say OK. That just unlocks it so you can do stuff to it. Then you go up to image, adjustments, and brightness contrast. Then you get this nice little slider bar. You want to move the brightness up so we get, some of, get rid of some of those shadows but you don't want to make it too bright so that you lose some of your line art. So we're going to make the brightness a little bit more and then up the contrast all the way. We're going to repeat that a couple times. Use your discretion with the brightness. Don't lose any, any lines. And you're, you might still have some shadows. That's okay. We'll get rid of those later. Okay, I'm going to do that about three times just so that the contrast is really high. I'm actually lowering the brightness at this point just so I don't lose anything. Okay, so now we've got those nice bright lines. Next, go to Select, Color Range. Uh, make sure that you have black selected and take your fuzziness all the way up to 200. That makes sure you get all of your line art. And there we go, press OK. And then you will have selected all of your lines, hopefully, and probably a little bit of speckling your image was not completely clean. Next you're going to go to Edit, Cut, and then that's taken away. You go to your layer box, go down here to Make a New Layer, click that, and then say Edit, Paste Special, Paste in Place, and there's your line art again. So now, if you get rid of this lower layer, uh, your line art's still there and it's a lot cleaner. So we're actually going to delete that layer, make a new layer, down here. Bring that to the bottom just by clicking and dragging. And then take our fill tool, which is G, or over here. Grab some white and fill in that lower layer with white, so now we have a white background. Go back up to your line art layer. I'm going to name this line art so we know what we're looking at. Blur, no. Blur, white. All right. Then you're going to take your eraser tool, that's E, or this thing right here and get rid of some of that splooshies, get rid of all that craziness. Alright, now we've got mostly just the line art there. And we are going to select the color range again, make sure you've got black selected. And now that we have that, I always like to go to Edit, Fill, Fill with Foreground Color, which is black. Press OK, and that just makes sure that nothing is gray, everything is just as dark as it can be so that you have some clear line art. Now, I didn't do a very good job with the uh, color or uh, the drawing of this, so it is a little um, messed up here, but we can make it work. Hopefully you just want to try to get as bold of lines as you can with your drawings, and then the reason why you scan it in is so that you don't lose any of those lines. Now, you have your nice clean line art. So what are you going to do with it? You want to color it because, oh my goodness, it's in a computer now. I can color it with every color of the rainbow. Blurg! But that's a bad idea. Because look at this. Look at these problems. Look at all that. Look at that. That's terrible. No, you don't want to look like that. That looks terrible. So we're going to control all delete that stuff. And this is how you fill in your colors without making it look all cruddy around your line art. You make a new layer, put it underneath your line art layer on top of the background and name it color or whatever. And you are going to put all your colors there or you can make a new layer for every color you use or every different segment like your skin or hair or whatever. However you want to do it, just do it on a different layer. Um, so go back to your line art layer. Get the selection wand, which is this guy right here. Click it. It should select a chunk that you want to color. Next, select, modify, expand. Um, I usually do a couple pixels. This should be okay for how big the lines are and how large the image is. 
Now if you'll see what I did, these marching ants, this selection is bigger than the line art. So when I fill it in, boop, not on the wrong layer, when I fill it in on the color layer, deselect, it's going to be underneath the lines, so there's not going to be any white space in between your color and your lines. And that is pretty much how you can color everything, and it's all going to look fabulous. Here's one more tip to help you uh, work with this color so that you don't go, Brrr, oh no, I messed up everything. You go to your layer, and then see this nice little lock bar? You click this one, which has the checkerboard, which is lock all transparent pixels, which means I can take a different color. Check this out. <gasps> oh my goodness, it stays within what I colored. That's like my favorite thing in Photoshop right now. So if you click this lock tool, you can't do anything to this layer. So if you're done with a layer, use that. But if you have the pixels locked, all you can do is where you've already put stuff down. So we can give her, we can give her some pokeballs. We can give her some purple. We can give us some yellow. We can do whatever we want on this because this is locked. So that's pretty much what you need to do to get some clean line art and start coloring your image digitally. And I did not use a tablet for any of this. This is all with the mouse. So you out there without tablets, this is the route to go with. So alrighty, I hope that helped you guys. And thank you for watching. I'll be back with more tutorials. Make sure to subscribe for fabulous stuff. And peace out.